And what's going on guys, it's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna take on the Tower of Lizard Valet. So let's go into the fight right here. I'm gonna show you the team that I'm bringing in. Actually the fight, uh, it's really, really not that hard to be honest and we're gonna bring, we're gonna show some love to the boy Titus today. So this is the party we're gonna bring in. Ignis for the buffs. Uh, also, he can break the attack and magic by 50%, which is really good. This is going to be the highlight. All right, this is basically the best thing you guys can have. So your Mystia or your magic cover tank build up that fire, uh, resistance, ice, thunder, uh, light, and dark. So basically, the second you have everything boosted up like that, uh, your party is going to take no damage, no damage at all. All. So uh, Warrior of Light's just gonna be there to draw some attacks. Uh, obviously, we have him 100% evade. Garnet is gonna help up fill that um, evo, uh, evo evo gauge, whatever the Esper gauge. It's gonna be easier to say like that. And the boy Titus is gonna be there to dish out the damage. So let's go right here. I need to complete the quest. No items. Evoke two Espers. So an Esper two times or more, whatever you guys want to do. And de defeat Lizard Valet with a Limit Burst, we get a 5% Moogle. So, uh, you can break the attack and magic, not the defense in spirit. The boss has 10 million HP, he's a human, so if you guys want to bring your human killers, uh, you do it, and man eaters. Uh, he has defense and spirit 200, so basically he has the same amount of defense and spirit. And he's gonna go, like I said, for lightning magic damage, uh, ice magic damage, light, fire, and dark. So, we're gonna use no magic. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna build up uh, some damage at the beginning. So with Ignis, because you guys know my boy, my boy had to be part of the party. We're gonna boost our stats by 150 percent, and we're gonna do restore. Uh, actually, we're gonna go right here so we can fill our LB gauge a little bit faster. Uh, the hardest part of the fight, to be honest, is just getting that uh, Esper gauge up. Here, we're gonna go for life. Harmony, so we're gonna boost our resistance to all elements. So we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna help Mystia cover a little bit more for the party. So we're gonna go Magic Cover. Warrior of Light is just gonna do some uh, draw attacks, so he's gonna provoke 100%. And with Titus, all we're gonna do is basically just regular audit, uh, regular auto attacks. And we're gonna try to build our uh, limit burst up for uh, Garnet to basically get the uh, Evo Gauge filled up. Also, the good thing about Titus. You can give is uh, you can entrust the limit burst to another unit, which is going to be really really good. And we have to kill the boss with a limit burst, so that's going to be one thing we have to do. On this turn, same thing. We're going to go for auto attack with uh, Titus. We're going to see if we can get our limit burst up. Yes, we can. So we're going to go with this. We're going to fill that Evo gauge nice and easy right here. We're going to cast uh, Master Golem. Boom. No worries. Right here. All we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that she gets her HP back up. So bam, she's gonna heal herself up. And with Ignis, we're gonna start cooking, guys. We're gonna start cooking nice and easy. So we did uh, cast our first Esper, and we're gonna try to bring the boss as low as possible. So that's gonna be the trick. Uh, basically, you don't want to bring him under 60%. Yes, we're gonna try to bring it uh, uh, yet. We're gonna try to bring him at uh, close as possible to 60%. And we should be good to go after. So, let's fill that Evo Gauge one more time. Ignis, you're gonna start cooking, boy. So we're gonna go for uh, some steam fish and uh, also some uh, fluffy chiffon cake, which is gonna be really, really good. Bam. Mistia, one more time. We're just gonna go for a uh, tetra wall. So we're gonna make sure we cover for the magic. And also, right now, because I can with Warrior of Light, we're gonna break the attack and magic by 45%. Boom. This is done. And the boy Titus, you know what? Let's see if we can do a little bit more damage. We're gonna go for this right here and delay attack. Boom. Let's go for some delay attacks, see if we can do a little bit more damage and basically build up those limit bursts. So right here, next turn, uh, what I might do, I might entrust uh, the limit burst from Titus to Garnet so we can get her, uh, the Esper Gauge up completely. So this is what we're gonna do. Bam. Uh, we're gonna go right here and trust give it to Garnet nice and easy you can get some volume in here Bam We're gonna cast this right here Nice and easy Mistia is still covering for the party, which is great. We're gonna use our second Esper which we're covering Boom nice and easy on this turn. We're gonna go for quick hit 
see how much damage we can do. Not that bad, not that bad. I could have double cast it, but just one is good enough. And here, we're just gonna go for Brave Presence. Oh, I misclicked. And uh, basically I misclicked with Ignis, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna be good. No problemo. So Misty is taking the damage. See you guys, not, nothing bad, nothing dangerous here. Basically on this turn, what I wanted to do with Ignis was basically bring our uh, elemental resistance up as much as possible, but we're still good. We're looking nice and decent here. And on this turn, all I'm gonna do we're not. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, chaining. We're gonna see how low we can bring him down. So let's go for a chain right here, and he's at 60, 58 percent. So on this turn, what I'm gonna do is uh, basically, if that happens, one of your units, you're gonna cast Tome of Alchemy. Bam! That's all you're gonna do. He's under 60 percent. So basically, next turn we can probably kill him. Uh, Mistia right here. She's gonna go for another. Tetra wall just for fun we're gonna make sure we always covering as much as possible ignis all i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna do what i was supposed to do the turn before we're gonna do a lasagna boom and we're gonna boo uh maybe a bean soup so let's go for a bean soup also and garnet all i'm gonna do is basically just go for a nice heal for the whole party because right now we already cast casted our two espers uh nope no re-raise we're gonna go for karaja we're gonna sh make sure that uh, Mistia is nice and healed up. So that fight is actually really really easy. Nothing hard. You just gotta control it as much as possible. Uh, if you're if you're a magic cover tank as basically all elemental resistance, uh, you're gonna take no damage. So you guys see right here, Mistia is basically resisting to everything. There's a little bit of hits going through, but it's nothing bad, nothing that you can't handle. So on this turn, uh, what we're gonna do? I want to kill him with the limit burst, so that's going to be the one thing we want to do. So we're going to go delay attack, delay attack, right here. So we're going to see if we're able to get maybe War of Light with a limit burst up would be really really nice. We're going to go right here. Uh, we're going to boost our stats. Actually, we can't do it yet. So we're going to make sure we do this. We're going to get some limit burst filled up, and also we're going to get some mana back because on the next turn, hopefully we can get rid of uh, Mr. Lezard Valet. So, Warrior of Light is still provoking. So we're gonna go for some auto attacks, see if we can build up the limit burst for maybe Warrior of Light. And we are looking good, so perfect. Next turn, we're gonna be able to get rid of the boss nice and easy. See, Mistia is just taking the ma damage. If you guys have Awakened Rain, uh, also, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Even if she dies, it doesn't matter. Right here, she lasted, so it's good. What we're gonna do right here, we're gonna cast the limit burst. We're gonna go double quick strike. So we're gonna go for a double quick hit. Bam, bam. We're gonna be dishing out a lot of damage right here. So let's go for the chain. Boom. And let's go cast the limit burst. See if we can get rid of the boss. See, that's the hard thing. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. See, that's the hard thing with uh, quick hit. It chains so fast that sometimes you won't be able to uh, get a perfect chain, which we just got right now. So that doesn't matter, we're just gonna go for a nice heal on everybody. Our stats are still up. Are they still up? Uh, we have some magic and spirit defense up, so we're gonna be looking good. The heal is gonna go through. We're gonna go one more time. We're gonna go magic cover, and on the next turn what I'm gonna do, uh, since we didn't kill him, I'm gonna use Titus Limit Burst, so we're gonna change the Limit Burst together, see if we can kill him, and if we can, then we're through with it. See, we're like just drawing the attacks, nothing's happening, Mistia's still surviving, so we're good. So what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna boost our attack by 150%, boom, and let's see if the chaining of two Titus can get through Legend Palace. And yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get it. And just like that, Mr. Lizard Valet is done. Nice and easy, easy fight. Like I said, if your magic cover tank is able to have all the elements on her, uh, you're gonna be taking no damage. Garnet is really, really good with Life of Harmony, which is basically, uh, she's gonna be able to provide a heal at the end of the turn and also get your resistance uh, to this, um, not the status, but the elements of attack. And uh, just like that, Lizard Valet has been defeated. Not any, uh, not a hard fight. Basically, really, really easy if your magic cover tank can cover all the elements and uh, just worry of light being there like a boss, drawing the attacks. If you guys have Wilhelm, you guys can use Wilhelm. 
but Garnett right here and Mistia were really, really good. So, guys, let me know down below in the comment section how did you beat Lezard Valet and if you guys uh, did it using my strategy. I wanted to show some love to the boy Titus because we haven't seen him in a long time since EO has been out. And uh, you know what? He's still really, really good. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let's go for 100 likes on this video. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe for more. Guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.